Today on Mark Reviews, Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. This is a fantastic book, and I recommend it to anyone who's a student of history, uh, our nation's founding, the Revolutionary War period, um, our financial systems, the Coast Guard, you know, anything that you're interested in, um, you know, pretty much from that time period of, of our nation's history can be found in this book. So written by Ron Chernow, and you'll see right here, right on the cover of this book, obviously this edition has been updated, um, but this particular book is credited as the inspiration for the smash hit Broadway musical Hamilton by Lin-Manuel Miranda. He credits this book specifically as what drove him and motivated him to tell this story. Uh, I do recommend it. I'm a huge history buff, particularly of our nation's founding, um, having grown up in Massachusetts and visited a lot of these places myself. Uh, Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow, a little bit dense at times. Uh, this comes as, uh, you know, just prior to listening to this audiobook, I had listened to John Adams by David McCullough. Uh, McCullough has a, a more fluid style of writing that's more like a narrative that you're a part of. It reads more like a novel. This reads more like a history tome um, from time to time. Um, particularly the chapters about financial policy, uh, fiscal policy, setting up our, our current you know, modern day treasury. Um, you know, things like bonds and interest rates and things like that. There, there are chapters dedicated to that kind of thing in this book. So if you're reading it straight through from cover to cover, um, don't get too bogged down in that part. If you need to skim parts of it to get to the rest, uh, this story is fascinating. And I say story, but this is a biographical account. Uh, this takes from first person accounts, uh, letters, um, articles in newspapers that were both written by Hamilton and to Hamilton and about Hamilton, um, pulling from his you know, contemporaries, John Adams. Um, Thomas Jefferson, George Washington, and others. Uh, one of the things I like about this particular edition, which is a hardcover, um, has the dust jacket too, but in the middle um, there are pages and pages of portraits of the people that are being discussed. And when they talk about someone sitting for a specific portrait, um, those portraits are in here. So as they're describing these people that Hamilton is spending time with and arguing with and debating with, uh, you can look up their picture and it makes all of this much more real, which of course it was. So my recommendation, absolutely, absolutely, if you are a fan of the Revolutionary War, our nation's history in general, founding fathers, um, even things like fiscal policy, um, there's history about things like the Coast Guard in here, um, you know, the Industrial Age, um, immigration, you know, British law versus American law. I mean. Everything is in here, uh, but parts of it at times, as I said, kind of, kind of get bogged down. Chernow writes a little more scholarly um, than in a narrative style. So Harry Potter, this is not, but you probably didn't expect that when you picked it up. It's about as thick as Harry Potter, um, but it takes a lot longer to read. It is a, a higher um, reading level. Um, highly recommend it. Having read John Adams or listened to John Adams just prior to listening to Alexander Hamilton, I, I recommend it to give you a different perspective on these people. There's a tendency to put our founding fathers on a pedestal and think of them as imperfect, or excuse me, as perfect people, um, but they were not. They were imperfect. They had their own failings, shortcomings. Um, you know, they held prejudices and things like that. And this book is a good counterbalance to some of the other accounts. After listening to John Adams, I thought, man. Hamilton was kind of a scoundrel, and he was a nasty, mean person. He was you know, very divisive politically, etc. Well, of course, that was through John Adams' perspective. And now getting Hamilton's perspective on the same issues, the same times and, and places and people, you really see a more balanced view, and it's all-encompassing. And it gives you an immense respect for these people, who they were, in the right place at the right time in history. And uh, they weren't perfect. And that's okay. They were the right person at the right place at the right time. So you owe it to yourself to go read this or at least listen to it. On Audible, it's like 36 hours long, I think, maybe 39. It is kind of long. Um, you know, listen to it while you're doing something else. Uh, or, you know, if you're a reader, pick up Alexander Hamilton by Ron Chernow. I fully recommend it. 
and any of these others that uh, I will review as well, like John Adams. So that's it for what's really kind of my first actual book review um, on Mark Reviews. I reviewed an author uh, previously, and I'll continue to review books and authors as I listen to them and or read them, which is a little bit less likely. <laughs> All right, let me know what you think. Did you like Alexander Hamilton? Have you seen the play? Do you like the music? Do you like Lin-Manuel Miranda? Are you getting a little tired of him after you went and saw Moana? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And then don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I uh, really appreciate all of you tuning in every day. Thanks. Bye.